first and foremost, want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Lava Haryum. Yahweh's the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bashim Dash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth. Shalom, Lava Haryum. Peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children whose names are written in the book of life, who's ordained to be delivered in these last days. You know, what I'm doing here is going to be a land back lesson off Apostle Gabar's video. Uh, we ought not to think of ourselves more highly than we ought to think. And that's a, a scripture. I can't think of where it is off top. But I watched most, yeah, I watched this whole video, Salakia. And Apostle Gabar was bringing out some heavy points, you know, which we can look at and analyze uh, Zabak and pre Zabak. But ultimately, when you know, when you hear these uh, correction videos, you know, Zabak is just an example. But we have to apply these things to ourselves as well. And it, and in turn, it made me think of how Yahweh Shai conducted. First of all, the scriptures tell you that Yahweh Shai made himself of no rep reputation. So when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, was he trying to do that? Was he doing those things? Was he receiving the accolades? Okay, was he uh, looking for the glory of men? And the answer is no. Okay, even uh, Paul said, what? If I persuade men, then what? Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Because essentially, we're not on earth to persuade men. We're not, on, we're not in a service of men. Although this is a service of men, but ultimately, we are servants to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and, and him alone. Okay, give me one second. All right, again, like I said, when we hear these lessons, we see these lessons, yeah, it's, 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 it's cool to point the finger, so to speak, and oh, look at them guys, look at them guys, but again, you know, you want to analyze yourself, you know, and I'm saying that because when I was listening to the video, watching the video, that's exactly what I was doing because, you know, we already know for the most part, Zabak them got the truth, but... You know, these guys are set forth an example of what not to be, right? So this is uh, Galatians chapter 1 and verse 10. For do, I, for do I now persuade men or the most high? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of the anointed, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? So we're, we're here to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're not here to please men, all right? We're, uh, we're in... You know, um, looking to be in the good graces of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because what man can't save you. Furthermore, the scriptures tell you it says, What favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. So, all these accolades, all these things that men that you can receive in this time, and men can big you up, you know, uh, glorify you, uh, 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 give you praise, and things of that nature, but that does not seal your, um, your salvation. All right, the scriptures tell you what the meek shall inherit the earth. Who's the meek, the humble, as Apostle Gabar beautifully explained in this in this video, in this segment that he um, in this lesson that he broadcast. All right. But ultimately, what really made me want to do this video was the fact that when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, okay, when he was on the scene, they went to actually establish to make him a king. Okay, and did Yahweh Shai sit up there and accept the throne and you know and then get the robe and you know, sit on the throne and then start, you know, putting himself up on a pedestal again. The scriptures, like I quoted earlier, he made himself of no reputation, so he didn't do those things. All right. Furthermore, when we see that when Yahweh Shai did the miracle of breaking the bread, the loaves, and then feeding the multitude of fish, all right, they they saw that the the, the multitude saw that Yahweh Shai was actually the king. All right. And but Yahweh Shai in his mind he already knew that he had to sacrifice himself to, to seal his salvation, to seal his glory. All right, because his glory is in heaven sitting on the right hand of the Father. All right. The heavenly father is the one that crowned Yahweh Shai. So verse 15, when it says, When Yahweh Shai therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force, meaning they was they was ready to grab Yahweh Shai to, to make him the king. So whether or not someone, oh no, brother, we're gonna do this for you, because you know. That's what the excuse would be for like Zabak and anybody else that would receive that. Well, you know, they wanted to do it. So, you know, I did it. Well, look, when they went to grab Yahweh Shai by force, right? And it says what? To make him a king. He departed 
into again into a mountain himself alone. You see, so when they went to go glorify Yahweh Shai and establish him to be king, he departed. He he broke out of there, man. He might have disappeared, did a disappearing act, you know, just vanished into thin air and, and put himself up in the mountain so he wouldn't receive that glory in this time or in that time, which Yahweh Shai is going to uh, receive his glory, all right, on earth. When the scriptures tell you what, I will not meet thee as a man. Okay, so when Yahweh Shai returns, he's not coming in a, when he receives his glory, he's not going to receive it in the in the fashion in which uh, the anointing of a king would be on this side on in earth today. All right, he's going to receive that. Matter of fact, he's already received that. Okay, he's already received that glory by being established on the right hand of the throne of the Father. All right. There was another one I want to bring out. Oh yeah, this is the book of Galatians, chapter six. Okay, in verse three, for I, for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself, and that's the point right there, man. So, you know, the scriptures say, "Let another man esteem you," but that that's all fine and dandy for a moment. All right, nonetheless, those things, those compliments, you know, those uh, gestures, is not what's going to seal you, seal your salvation. What's going to seal your salvation? Is remaining humble and oh oh that's another one I wanted to get. He said, uh oh, oh man, Elder Manathazak, Bishop Manathazak likes to say that a lot. Um um it's a scripture that he quotes a lot. You know, it's a, it's a good oh man, it'll come to me, you give me one second. Unprofitable servants. One second. This is uh, Luke chapter 17, and uh, I'm going to start at verse 9. Do he thank that servant because he did the things that which commanded of him? Yeah, because we're doing what's commanded of us, man. We're just servants again, all right? We're just, when we go out on the highways and hedges and we bring forth the scriptures and we break down the scriptures the proper way, we're just doing what's commanded of us, you know? Matter of fact, who was I watching? Oh, Gary Payton. Right, Gary Payton, which he was known as the glove of a very good defender. He was a high recruit coming out of high school, and his father was called Mr. Mean. Right, and his father would never give him compliments, so he would score like forty points in a game. And his father, would be, ah, that ain't nothing. So, so that would set up a, a higher standard for Gary Payton to go out the next game to drop sixty. You see, so. And this thing of ours, we have to have that mind frame that the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is not satisfied with our works. The scriptures tell you that the, uh, the, uh, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. All right? Meaning what? There's a lot of work that needs to be done, as Apostle Gabar even explained in his video. So it says, verse 10, So likewise ye, when ye shall done all those things which were are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants, we have done that which is our duty to do. Just like when you see these uh, military vets and people give them accolades and, you know, thank you very much for keeping our country safe and, 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 and protecting us and this, that, and the third. They say, you know, it's, it's our job, no problem. It's just our job. And then that's how we're supposed to be looking at this thing. All right, that's how we're supposed to be looking at this service, this ministry that we're a part of, that we're unprofitable servants and we did what we're supposed to do. And really, when, there's no accolades when you look at something, when you're doing what you're supposed to do. Okay? So that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to close on that. And you should check out Apostle Gabar's video in which he's uh, speaking on this uh, ceremony that was given for a uh, priest of Bach. Call Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Shalom.